Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. I believe this is part 8, but I also believe I, I may have uh, lost track. And that's okay. Um, in the last video, what do we do? Oh, we went through an arduous battle with the gnolls in the cave to get the Zentarim's cargo, which we did not open. All right. Um, and we also paid 1,200 gold to free an artist from the basement over there. Uh, we paid 1,000 to free him, and then we paid 200 to get him to Baldur's Gate. I'm not expecting that we'll ever see him again, and if we do, we will not be getting our money's worth, but who knows, maybe it'll open up a quest line that'll be interesting. I'm just kinda, I, I feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't be fair for that money to just be completely wasted like surely we got we'll get something out of it it may not be worth it um now what we're going to do we're on the risen road at the moment here's the emerald grove over here so we're going to explore this area right here which includes uh hunting down karlak for will um there's a bunch of dead gnolls over here and uh, a banner that i don't recognize and we'll be hanging out over there seeing what's up uh, and then eventually, maybe, you know, next video, we'll venture into the goblin camp. Or maybe we'll even go down to the swamp to hang out with Auntie Ethel. Because I think if we could take those gnolls, then we can take those uh, swamp goblins or whatever they are. Time to press ahead. But yeah, we'll keep moving. Oh my goodness. Dead gnolls. Let's check their... Uh, oh. Auto save. How many hyena ears am I picking up, man? Y'all, y'all really? Okay, I'm not picking up anymore. They're worth like five gold each, though. I mean, might as well just take them. They don't weigh anything at all. 0. 0.05, bruh. Let's go over here. There's more dead gnolls. Those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. I mean, is it Carlac? Buckle. Oh my goodness. Arrow of Ice. Sure. Uh, purple grapes. Damn, those look good. Uh, yeah, I'll take leather on me too. I would love to take those, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're all good. Why are you whispering to yourself? We're not stealthed. Okay, uh, maybe I'll come over here. Should we go inside? Okay, there's a refugee and there's Cyril, a traitor. And we're also hearing a really ominous sound. Need any supplies? We've fewer mouths to feed now. Can you tell me what happened? Two. Both stalwarts of Tear, sworn to uphold justice. Tear, okay, unfamiliar. What happened to you? The Lord of Justice sent us after a devil haunting this area. Mm. We squared off against her. We lost. Talk to Anders if you want the details. I don't have it in me to recount the horror. So those are the the banners of of Tear outside. I'll take the supplies and everything else you own. Wow. No. I can't bring myself to do that. Okay, what do you got? Scroll of mirror image. Scroll of Milf's acid arrow. Okay, so the way that item rarity goes, I guess it's like every other game. Green is uncommon. Blue is rare. Purple is exotic or very rare. And then orange is legendary. That seems to be what everyone uses. Uh, so you got 595 gold. Yeah, you want to take this oil lamp, bro? The sides of this brass lamp are shinier than the rest as if they've been repeatedly rubbed. Oh, yeah. Do you think... Nah, do you think it's got a genie in it? Would you like to buy my... Buy, buy two knives? Would you like to buy, uh... Two plates, perhaps? Oh. I was trying to drag it over. Shaft of a broken spear? What about two tongs? You want to take a bunch of crap, bro? 
You want, you want a bottle? Baby, want a bottle? Big dirt bottle? Oh, bloody journal. Have I read that? Um, take a couple, a couple leather armor. Barbarian clothes, I won't need that anymore. Short bow. Uh, well, this is giving me like a lot of money. Okay. That's good enough. Um, yeah, we'll balance that out. Yeah. The trader will be pleased with this offer. How? I'm giving you like literally a bunch of crap. And you're going to be happy with this? Let me just check and make sure there's nothing else I want. Hmm. In Trap Disarm Toolkit. I've got plenty of those already. I've got four of those. I've got two Thieves Tools. Oh, maybe a scroll of Revivify. A thousand? Wait, wait. How much is one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So the 250. Oh my gosh. I was like, these are a thousand each? Because I've been using up so many. I might want to... Hmm. Well, I might want to take a couple then. If you've got four of them, maybe I'll take two. And then I'll just go ahead and throw in... Would you like some of these letters? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You want a slave mind? I'll keep in that for maybe... Maybe I can use that for something. I don't know. I don't really like these bulbs too much. Uh, so you can have those. A would you like a jug? <laughs> Infernal iron. That seems like a good crafting material. It's worth 40. I'm going to keep that. Um, maybe bones. I, I don't really need bones for anything, do I? And let's see. Yeah. I you know what? I'll just pay you some gold. Traders, please, huh? Sure. Well, I got two scrolls of Revivify, so. In Tear's name. Yeah, sure, bud. I don't really care about Tear, so. Uh, what's in the shabby wardrobe you were saying next to you? Also, oh, there's some, there's three gold in here. You could just pick that up. There's a soul coin. Where am I going? I, where did I pick that up from? I have, what has happened? Okay, get down from there. <laughs> what the, why are you all the way up there? Okay, the camera was messing up. Ooh, there's a baguette. How long has this been sitting out? Do we really want this? Why do you keep climbing on top of stuff? Ooh, a supply pack. Thanks, bud. Let's go in here now. Hello, Cut friends. It it's worse than Knowles out there. Is there? Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Is that so? A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. What about all those knolls? We are paladins of Tyr, no. Lord of Justice. Okay. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her. Which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. Wow, she sounds tough. We were tough. lucky to survive our encounter with her. Save failed religion. Oh, I'm just not very smart. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. Wait, hang on. This she ran away from you instead of killing you. Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have. But it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head. Whoa. The sword of justice? Repaid. Very well, I'll bring you her head. I have other things to deal with. Yeah. 
Sure. May the just God guide you. Wait, did I? Did he give me the? Did he give me the sword? No, he didn't. He still got it. He still got it, doesn't he? Okay. Why? Why is it like this? Can I? Can I sort it? Um. Oh, okay. Sort uh, value. Thank you. Okay. Um. Oh wait, hi, Trin. Hello. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Stink down there or something? Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. That was a nice place to hole up in. What is it? It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's so those banners outside. Coin moving down this road. Might not be tier banners. Toll houses mean gold. See any There's around? a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. Is if that there's so? any gold left, that's where it'll be. Coin. I require coin. Uh, findings from the hinterlands. Uh, so what? How do I get down there? I'm up here now. Better not be cursed. What the door? You think the door is cursed? Oh, we're out here. A pleasurable deal. I don't. Is that, I guess it's like a book or something. Uh, okay, you know, there's not really anything up here now, but we get a nice view of things, right? Let's see, okay. A lot of rocks here, not really anything to speak of. This is a cellar, though, is what you said. Can I hop down? Oh my god, you took- oh, we took damage. We took damage. Watch out. Interesting. And you know what? You guys don't have to take damage. Just meet me inside. Where's the cellar? Oh, it's right here. God, this assault on the nostrils should be labeled a war crime. Okay, the dead toll collector. Toll house ledger. Ooh, I want to read. A ledger containing details of a toll house's takings for the current year, 1492 DR. Most entries are neatly written, but the text on the most recent page is smudged and rambling. Okay. Flaming Fist. We'll just... Road untenable. Preparing to abandon post. More farmers too many to count. No goods carrying their own dead. Okay. Sent courier to request extra guards or relief. Seven farmers, no goods, no gold, wounded, warned us to leave. So, shit started going down around there. Really, really, uh, inactive toll house, I would say. Okay, um... Can we get this open? Locked. Uh... Could we just attack it? 22's not enough. Er... No damage because of medium toughness. Where is that? This material is unusually strong. Only a hit that deals at least 22 damage can damage it. So I got lucky. Oh. Best avoid that trap. Yeah, yeah, I see the traps. Okay. Don't step on it, y'all. Something over there. What is, what is this? Here, here, move this over. What is that? Burrow hole. I'm way too big. I don't really understand. Okay. Oh, <gasps> 265 gold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Rags. Um, oh, I don't know what happened there. I'm trying to get to the, oh, is there nothing else? It's just a burlap sack. Wooden trunk. Okay, watch out. Ooh, emerald ring, gold band, silver necklace, and with this ring, some good stuff there. All right. Okay, now don't walk on the traps. Hmm, iron gate. Hopefully, it isn't. This place is trapped. Yeah, I'm aware, dude. I'm aware. Um, 
Looks like there's like a desk over here or something. Step carefully. There's a trap. Okay, as long as you guys don't step on it, we're good. Pouch. The pouch has nothing. Are you serious? The leadership of the Zentarim. That's actually interesting. Whoever their leader is, it is clear that this new Zentarim have not abandoned plans for domination. So much as we calculate their approach. Where once their focus was on the subversion and conquest of nations, the network of today is much more concerned with establishing the stranglehold on a market. Uh, power which crosses borders that are closed to more conventional services. So they're basically the mob, right? The Zentarim. They're kind of... They're mobsters. The uh, the medieval mafia, if you if you will. Okay. Thank you so much. I was kind of hoping it would be a little more interesting, but then again, I skimmed it. Oopsie. Okay, is there? I don't want to like miss a chest in here. I probably missed. A, I've you you guys have probably been so mad at me. For missing chests and stuff. I've probably missed a couple. Padded armor, 11. Well, we can sell it if nothing else. Um, drow poison. Sure. Potion of featherfall. I'm not going to use these. There's too many, like... Like I've said, there's too many, like, little... Tiny little actions that you can do in 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 D and D style adventures for me. I just want to like hit stuff. That's why I picked barbarian. It was not uh, a coincidence. By design, I pick the the thing that's like, all right, hit me, hit stuff. Me barbarian, big hit, big damage. That's me. In fantasy games, I never want to. I never want to play the complicated characters where it's like, hmm, perhaps if I cast a protection spell. Okay. Now hang on a second. I can't help but notice up here on the mini map. Yeah. Time to press ahead. She went down to the river. What, what's interesting about the story is that he says she went down to the river, right? Um. He says, he says when she realized that we were wounded and not dead. It's like, why wouldn't why would she have killed you? If she's such a, such a bad person that's like slaughtering people. Oh. Oh, dead toll collector. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, Cyril. Oh, oh my gosh. I had no idea that we could just do this. Let me, let me check this guy. We have 44 gold on him. You know, you guys could should really check these dead bodies. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling kind of like we don't really need to do this. Another yeah. step forward. Toll collector's key. Wait, what? Oh, this could this probably was for the basement. It might open the toll house vault. Well, I already I already broke into it, so who's this? Is that her? Okay. Hello. One horn. The oh. stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <laughs> Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. You're the devil we've been hunting. Karlak, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat. She has a tadpole. Her heat. Fiery as the hells. She has a tadpole. Divisions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Really? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain. But it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. 
She is a victim of the blood war, not an agent of it. Okay. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. Oh no, Will, you're going to be stubborn about you this. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Okay, now we got a reason with Will. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. Be practical. She's infected. Same as us. And powerful, too. We can use her as an ally. Looks like you found your mark, Will. Let's send your devil back to the hells. The Paladins of Tears send me for your head, and I need to take it. Okay. Stand down, Will. Will catches his breath, and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. She's not a devil. She's a tiefling, right? Is there a difference? You saw her thoughts. Clock's not a devil and you know it. Listen Ooh, to I got some now. approval. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. He's taking this then, rather hey? well. <laughs> Aye. Truce. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it as well. But you already knew that. And you are... Uh... I thought I was pretty tough until I saw you. I'm half nerdia. <laughs> Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Oh, I am down, yes. Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, Ooh. made me as her personal attack dog. Is that I played so? along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tears, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. How did she send so-called paladins of tear? Wait. Are they actually not? Let's send them back where they came from. So you want me to kill the people hunting you? Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Hang on. Okay, so the Archdevil sent paladins to hunt you down. So I'm guessing that they're not actually paladins, right? Fuck yes. Let's do it. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. Oh, we can I'll send Will home. When it's time to camp for now, but don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? No. Let's talk to Will first. Hi, Will. <laughs> You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Well, no need to be so hard on yourself, bud. So let's see you on Carlax Tale. I'd like to know who the source of yours is. I can say only this. Carlax's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. You sound like a man with a nine hells at his heels. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp. The veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Penance? Should I be worried? You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. 
Man, Will, Will and Gale are kind of similar in, in a lot of ways. Um, okay, so I want to go to camp. And I want to swap in Karlak for, uh, for, for Will. Alright, we got, we got to break the news to him. Oh my god, I can't believe this spider is still hanging around. Crazy. Alright, well, I'm sorry to do this to you, bud. But, uh, I'd like you to wait in the camp. Sure? The blade stands at the ready. No, uh, you know what? I'll swap you in at another time. Because I like you. Yeah. I like you. Yeah. You're not going to be permanently stuck here like a starry in a lazo. The losers club over here. All right, Carlac, you're in. Hey, yeah. Hey. Come on, we're heading out. About those paladins. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just okay. Just say, by the way, they're not really paladins. That's what I thought. Okay. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress up as paladins right. of Tear. No honor among devils. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll reveal themselves. What's the best way to kill a devil in your expert opinion? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Um, how'd you end up fighting in the Blood War? Because I'm not really clear on what that is. Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. Okay, okay. First things first. Uh, come on, we're heading out. Fuck yes. Yeah. So you're in our party. We've got to level you up, though. Bar you're a barbarian just like me! Double barbarian! You know, I think some people might be like, Oh, why would you have two barbarians? But now we've got two, like, true frontliners. And they both hit stuff. Let's go. Chosen subclass Wild Heart. That's exactly mine. Can we have a different? Can we have a different subclass? Or Legacy of Avernus Searing Smite. Deal an extra two to twelve fire damage to set your target on fire. Takes one to six fire damage every turn. That's pretty good. Oh, or we can do Berserker. Oh, you're a Berserker. A hundred percent. Wild magic. Um, now nah, Berserker. Frenzy. Your rage turns into a frenzy. You gain frenzied strike and enraged throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus to action. Frenzied strike, enraged throw. You're a Berserker. Yeah. That sounds good. New feet available. You're so basic. I love it. What should the, what should the feet be? Heavily armored. You gain armor proficiency with heavy armor, and your strength increases by one to a maximum of 20. You know, I've got... I think I've got some heavy armor, or I'd, I'd like to get some heavy armor stuff, and that would be great with you, I think. Wearing heavy armor will not impose disadvantage on your attack rolls or prevent you from casting spells. Okay. And strength plus one? You've already got high strength. Okay, so your barbarian clothes here. Is there any? Do we have any like heavy armor? I don't think so. I think I did. I have some that I sold, but we can buy some heavy armor now for her. That'll be great. Yeah, we'll make sure to do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. We've also got gloves. Can we? give her anything. Oh, great axe plus one. Oh my god. I'm taking that. Sorry, I can't believe I didn't equip that. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do that. Ah, I can. I can believe that. So you've got just a regular great axe. Right. Okay, well, I'm taking the better one. Sorry. Spider step boots. Well, I've still got those. Ah... Uh, 
I'm trying to decide. You know what I think I should do? I think I should probably give Shadowheart a like a like a bow of some kind. Cause she she kinda like hangs out in the back a lot. Well, I'll do that at some point. I don't think I have any bows right now. Gale can be I think this is a good group though. We got two casters and two barbarians. I think that's pretty good. You know, I'd like to get some, some rings and an amulet at some point, too. Do I have some already? I really need to start concentrating more on, like, equipping stuff. I'm just... I don't know. I guess I'm not that good at it. Uh, that part of things. Simple robe. Should we give him some padded armor? Oh. Oh, can you not have that? Oh, no, he can't wear that. Okay, so I know it's not as cool as the simple robe, but the armor class is slightly higher, so it would help you, I would think. And... Yeah, every time I find rings, they're just, they're worth money that I can sell. So... Oh, oh, I don't really, I don't really need to walk around as you. Not as bad as it could have. That's very good. Wait, where'd, uh... Where'd Scratch go? Oh, he's over here. We need to give Scratch a pet before we leave. Do you guys think I'm getting out of here without petting Scratch? Y'all are crazy. It's a tradition. We have to keep it up. Okay. That's enough of that. And let's sleep. Okay, now let's go back to the sleep camp. I suppose you have any clue where we are in relation to water deep. Who are you asking? Oh, Croc's saying something, but she says a long way, but there's no voice line for some reason. Wait, what about the backpack uh, over here? That will make getting words my mother rather tricky. No matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyway. You okay back there? Ooh, there's a lot of nice stuff in here. Arrow, diluted oil. All right. Um, yeah, okay. So we're, we're like, all done over here. Ooh. Return to Zevlor. Um, we'll do that at some point. Okay, so we've got, we've gone everywhere in here. Let's go confront the paladins. So-called paladins, I should say. Um, now, before we do that, I am going to save, because who knows how tough they're going to be. But they can't be tougher than the gnolls, you would think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's wait for everybody to get here. I don't want anybody to not be in the... Um... Oh. Hello. Back, beast, back! Interesting. Okay. Can I go inside... I don't know why it does this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here we go. I guess we confront him in here. You brought her here. I did. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. Hmm. Insight. Assess his posture, his eyes. Is he telling the truth? Let's try it. How embarrassing. I failed. I failed the wisdom check. Uh, we can roll again, though. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> There's something in the squint of his eye. You Look at him. It's lying. like L.A. Noir. Is this guy telling the truth? I think he's lying. Enough of this charade. Enough. Enough. 
I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys are screwed, huh? Okay. 44 HP Sword of Tear. 24 HP Traitor. I feel like she's... Oh, maybe we need to concentrate, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna rage. I'm coming up. Uh, should I hit with Lacerate? 60%. Yeah. There we go. Got a nice hit. The last board is set. Okay. Um, Gale. I wonder if there's a way. There's not really a way to get high ground, is there? Good move. I think I'm gonna move back. What, what does he have on him? Hunter's Mark Quarry. Affected entity suffers an additional 1d6 damage if the spellcaster hits it with a weapon attack. I don't understand. Well, let's uh, let's just target with like a nice firebolt or something. 80%. Pretty good. Lightning charges. Okay. Look, the spider's way back here. All right, Shadow Heart. Um, yeah, we'll maybe just hit something uh, with fire. Let's see what we can do with her. 45%, 50%. Aura of protection is what he's got on him. Critical miss. Oh, Shadow Heart. Buddy. Okay. Um, now how about you? Frenzy. Whoa. Look at her go. Okay. Now what have you got? Piercing shot. Oh, she's got, she's got ranged attacks because she's got a crossbow. You know, I didn't I didn't think that you could have both, but maybe I'll start doing that. I'll start giving crossbows people. You guys have probably been yelling at me that about that in the comments this whole time. Why doesn't he just give them a crossbow? Give Shadowheart a crossbow, bro. Oh my god. Holy hell, you're awesome. Oh god, that was great. Yeah, yeah, I'd be shaking in my boots if I were you. Okay, what's... Hold person on Gale. What are you doing? You're like backing yourself into a corner. Okay, Anders is... Go... Holy hell! He just took her down! Attack. Oh, I missed? Oh, come on. What? Well, whatever. Okay. Um, well, so that's crazy. Hmm. Prepare. Oh my god. Got a nice hit there. Uh, can't move away because of attack of opportunity, but... That's fine. I want him attacking me and not uh, Shadowheart, for example. He did, he did like a million damage, though. That's crazy. Hmm. I'm wondering if... Can I just hit... 85%? Yeah. Just keep... Just keep hitting her with that. Good job. Okay. What I've got to do... Oh, I'm out of level 1 spell slots. 
Okay. I guess maybe I'll just come up and get her up. Shadowheart's like the reviver. You know what I'll do? I'll I'll heal her. So she doesn't just go back down. Plus six. I really need that to be higher, Shadowheart. Okay. Uh, how about you go back this way? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Frenzied Strike as a bonus action. Ooh. Let's do it, dude. Oh, Reckless Attack. Big hit. Big hit. Let's go. Whoa! Okay, she blew everything up there. Stop that. Tears protection. You still have 9 HP, dude. Okay. No I'm getting her back up. Down. No time for a lie down. Man, Carlyke was awesome, and she just got, like, destroyed Another fight. by this guy. Thankfully, he hasn't been hitting me, though. Um... Reckless attack. I'm gonna reckless attack him. Got him. Yes. Okay. Guess what? We're coming in. We're coming in after ya. Alright, we're okay in here. She's got 19. I'm wondering if maybe we could, like, disable her somehow. Sleep? Can I put her to sleep? No target. What do you mean, no target? I don't understand. Oh, I have to use level two? Level one is up to 24 hit points. But she has 19. Oh well, I'll probably do a long rest. Oh! Am I doing something wrong? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll just do something else. <laughs> see, could I... Burning hands. 3 to 18. Pretty crazy. Could do magic missile. Does up to 20 damage. It's not gonna kill her. Hmm. Might as well. Oh, we got her! She's dead! Fuck them. Fuck Salariel. I won't go back. I'm never going back. Oh, she's having like a panic any attack. These little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Nice. Sariel won't go near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're happy. I have a feeling if Carl like ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's loot their bodies. The sword of justice. Interesting. Scale mail, 14. Not bad. Oh my god, you set Gale on fire! Carlac, calm down. Ow. Okay, maybe we'll go outside. Maybe we'll go outside. Oh my gosh, wait, we need to talk to her. I didn't realize she's like rampaging. Um. Yo, Carlac. Okay. She's at, oh, wow, well, I didn't know that I was gonna have to try, just try it, Zarya, oh, come on. Okay, so we need to calm her down somehow. Um, how do we, how do we stop her? Um, need to find a way forward. Okay, well, I guess that's one way. Okay. Can we talk? Can we talk? 
Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Right. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Okay, I didn't know that you were going to do that. <laughs> like, you should melt a long time ago. How can you stand it? Hot? Let's just say that. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. How close were you expecting me to get? Uh, what does the engine allow you to do? How did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Hmm. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced Everybody needs those maintenance, damn. They let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. An infernal mechanic. I wonder if they mean Damon, a tiefling weaponsmith. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Okay. Good to know. <coughs> Running hot. Ow. Setting you ablaze. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Um. Oh my gosh. Out of spell slots. It's crazy. Okay. Um, so now let me come in. Me. I gotta, uh, What's yeah, check there? you. Oh, look at you and your scrolls. You got two. I could have just, I could have just taken this off of her instead of trading. Oh my god, I just, I wasted gold buying them from her. Why well, didn't know we were gonna end up killing her? You know? Anyway. Okay, so that's down there. Okay, we're all done here. Let's uh, start moving along. You know, we might do a long rest. Because... Shadow Hearts completely out of spell slots. Gale's missing all of his level twos. Um, I'm I've I've lost my rage charge. And yeah, I mean we we're kind of hurt anyway. So I'm thinking maybe we take a long rest here. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Long rest. I mean this seems like a good end to the day anyway. So. No. What's happening? What's this? Hell's fire. She's coming. Who? Into our camp. What? Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. Who the hell? Damn it. Anyone but her. Who in the nine hells are you? Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? Let's hit on her. <laughs> you flatterer. Cock disapproves. Why, if I had a warm heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. Oh, damn. Evil. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. Well, don't say that word. You told me! Devils only! Oh, he's getting like Darth Vader She's choked. A not a monster! How precious. 
the little pupsters found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Oh my god, because she's got her infernal engine. If we kill Karlak now, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damn finger on Karlak. Blast it all, Will! Why didn't you tell me about her? Don't you worry. That ship has long sailed the sticks. But a defiant pup must still pay his price. To wit. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. Damn. Poor Will. Whoa. Oh, he's got horns now. What? That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Wait, All what? Right. Keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. On me? Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. So, okay, we got a lot to talk about. I'll be honest, soldier, I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. Yeah, kind of crazy, right? Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. He's a good man, maybe the best of us. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Yeah. Let's go talk to him. Poor guy. Um, now he's got horns. Yeah, he's drinking. I'd be drinking too. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I I'd know. be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not. Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Yeah. Sayfield Arcana. I hate that. I deserve that. Consider me properly shamed. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. This pact is what caused the rift between you and your father. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. Okay. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. Really? It was my proudest deed. Really? It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. We're not going to talk any more about it? Are you sure? Well, Matt. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. Oh. But... I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? A freak of nature, gods, but you're hideous. Oh my god. Quite the handsome devil if I do say so. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. 
I'll accept the flattery either way. Man, he's I taking this way better than I would. Used to the new me, horns and all. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. Yeah. And I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Okay. You should get out of this pact. Hmm. Let's bring it up, yeah. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Why obey her at all? What could she do that's worse than she already has? There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. Mmm. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Right. We can beat her if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Of course. Well, I got a lot of will approves there. Hi, Lazel. We have yet to find Zoru. Or have you so quickly forgotten? No, actually, I found him. My people. And where we find Githyanki, we will find their crash. No, I found him. I just didn't talk to him about what you wanted uh, to talk to him about. So, so Starion killed any boars lately? So, Will did the right thing, and it earned him a set of horns. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to us all. Tell me about your history. How does someone become a vampire exactly? I'm curious about that too. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. So you could turn In me into theory, a vampire. The next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. In theory. So you so, so they bite you and you bite them. Oh. In theory. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire. Is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So, why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust mm. me, it doesn't happen. Okay. So then, but it happened to you, though. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Right. Perhaps I still am. Okay. I was never able to resist their commands. But now... The Tsar family. I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Okay, I believe you. So you... So you... So they sucked your blood, and then you sucked their blood. Because you're a true vampire now, is that right? I don't know. Shadowheart, uh, Shadowheart's all by herself. She's playing hard to get over here. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. I mean, did you did you see what happened? I can't help but feel you and I might have missed a chance to connect. Should I say it? Is it too early? I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. What? Easily remedied, if you like. What? I know a place. Another time, perhaps? I'd like that. Just lead the way. Oh my gosh. I... Huh. Well, I didn't think it would be happening. I thought we would have to to woo you a bit more. 
I don't even know what your artifact is. Hmm. Another time, perhaps. Will this, will this get me in trouble? Oh. Another time, of course. Okay. Oh, no, I don't have the option anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, uh... I feel like it was really... I feel like I wasn't expecting that to happen. Can you believe that? Soldier. Can you believe that, Karlak? Oh, my God. You've got so many dialogue options. Um, now that the paladins are out of your way, what's next on your agenda? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Right, okay, it's right. It's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? We'll find one. You and Missouri seem to know each other. How? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I can see why you're so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Hmm. I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Um... How did you end up with such a contraption year, in your chest? Ten air. The place? A sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. I've never Our heard hero, of that place. Karlak, a knock kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Oh yeah, she I've put heard the name. In my chest and set me to work, but well, to war. Okay. I learned quick how to stay alive, and the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Who was the boss who gave you up to Zariel? Guy named Gortash. Oh, I hate him. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. Of course. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Ugh. Oh. To feel so invincible again. What does that infernal engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. We gotta take care of that. <laughs> You must be bent up. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that myself. I've never been one for too much contact. I, hmm. I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest. If Karlak wasn't here, and Shadowheart was like, you and me, I'd be like, why not? But now that Karlak's here, I'm a little like, hmm, I don't know. Which one? Which one do I choose? Gail, what do you think? How can I help? Okay. 
<laughs> Cake. Gale's taking some time off from his little quest right now. Let's go to bed. Uh, all right. Let's see. Ooh, carnival squash. I just need one more. Is there one? A pair? Yeah, that sounds good. Full rest. Thank you. Oh, boy. All right. Anybody else want to talk? You barking at somebody, boy? Okay. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and uh, leave camp now. Okay, we're back on the Risen Road. Now, uh, yeah, we've we've been pretty much everywhere over here. Kind of crazy, right? Um, now, what's left to do? You know, we could... Hmm. Wait, what's this? There's like a like an area down here that I think we can go to. Is that am I seeing things right? I think we've been down here. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's let's hang out down here. We'll go this way. It's like a nice little little calm path here. Um, yeah, I think we might head down to the swamp, maybe? Check out Auntie Ethel's. That might be worth a look. Succeed a perception check. Oh, we move it over. Bloodstone. Was that what was hiding in there? Anyone can squeeze blood from a stone if the edges are sharp enough. Oh, okay. Can't get there. Okay. Yeah, we're all done. Interesting. Okay, so that's what you do when you, um, when you run into those. Got it. Alright, let's climb this. The knotted roots. Thank you. Back up here, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're done with all this. Oh, boy. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look over here a little bit before we go back. Maybe a little fast travel or something. I don't know. Burlap sacks. What's in these burlap sacks, bro? Nothing. Okay. They're both empty. Wow. Oh, some apples. I'll take those. They're not poisoned, I assume. Okay, now this is west, this way. Yeah, let's look around. Waypoint discovered. Oh, Joaquin's Rest has a waypoint. That's cool. A Frightened. Dragon. Gods preserve me. Where, where, where? It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, <gasps> oh. would it? Oh. I suggest we admire it from afar. That's a good idea. Oh. On my way. Carefully now. Who who is this? Can I talk to you? El Elka. Where are you? What Hi. are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. That's not a very nice thing to say to me. What's the matter? From the dragon. Look. Okay, yeah. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt okay. a fight against them would go your way. Uh, you'd be surprised. Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. Nah, let's see. Who are Nobody. you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. 
Oh. She's not going to join us. What? Just follow you around. I go my own way. Alone. We're gonna we're gonna run into you again later, aren't we? There's no there's no way this is it for you. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Wait, where are you going? Let's follow you. Where are you going? I, I, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow you around. You didn't want to follow me around, but what? What? Anyone else see that? She disappeared. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, interesting. Nice that we've got a waypoint now, though. Oh, there's a mountain pass here. All right. Well, uh, I think we'll end the video there. Hope uh, you all enjoyed uh, this video. I'm going to save for part nine, which will be the next video, I think. Um, yeah, so I know I know we're kind of I don't know if I'm going like slowly or quickly. I'm not trying to go either. I'm not trying to like investigate every single little thing and I'm not trying to like blaze through things either. I'm just trying to do things that I'm interested in. And thankfully with this game, there's a lot of things that I'm interested in. So like, I want to find out what's going on in the swamp. I want to go to the goblin camp. I wanted to hunt down Karlak and, and you know, confront the gnolls and check out the burned village and stuff. So I've, I've been wanting to do all these things, um, which has been fun. And um, hope, uh, going at a good pace. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Think quickly.